Welcome to another message from the Word of God. We're talking about this time or the uh, the end time parable, the end time parable that Jesus gave to his disciples and to all those listening in the twenty-first chapter of the Gospel of Luke in verse number twenty-nine. I a pen para balain, altois, edete, tain, sikain, kai, ponta, ta, dendro. And he spoke this parable, parabole, is where it comes from for our parabolo, which means to throw something physical beside something spiritual so they can understand the spiritual thing better. But sometimes it actually hid the truths from those that would not hear. And he spoke this parable to them, and ye see the fig trees, and the fig tree and all the trees. The fig trees and all the trees. He's talking about the signs of the times. The signs of the times. Hotan para bolusen, a de plebontes, of yato, genoskete, hote, a de, ingus to theros esten. When it may cast forth, it says now or already, when it may cast forth uh, into its leaves, it may throw forth its leaves, uh, seeing for yourselves, you know that. Near or up pretty close is the summer. The summer is close. The uh, Theros, the summer is so close. Verse number 21 now. Who tolls Kai, Himes, Hotan, Edete, Kalta, Genomena, Genoskete, Hote, Ingus, Esten, He, Basilea, to Theu. And in the same manner also, you. When you may see these things, look at the word there, ye may see, edete. That second person plural second error, subjunctive, active, that means it may or may not. You may or may not see these things happening. You know for certainty that near it is the kingdom of God. Near is the kingdom of God. The prophets and the law were until John, and after that, the preaching of the kingdom of God, because the king had come. The king had come. Amen, lego, himen, hote, u, me, parelthe, he, geniel, alte, eos, on, ponta, genete. Truly I say to you, now that word truly there, that's a particle of affirmation, amen. That word comes all the way from the Persian, amen, into the Hebrew, amen into the Greek, amen, or into the English, amen. It means to prop up or to support or to stand behind something. Truly I say to you all, that know not, it shall pass away this uh, generation of Jews, this race of Jews, this race of Jews, until all these things come to pass. Many people do not believe that there's any more economy for the nation of Israel in the kingdom of God. Many people believe that there is no longer any valuable or liable economy for the nation of Israel in the economy of God. In other words, God's finished with them. But one thing it says right here, what it says is that this race of people will not pass away until all these things come about. It is an absolute miracle of God that the nation of Israel is in existence today. The way they've gone out through the world, the world has been mad at them many, many times and wanted to do, astray, do away with them, and uh, Germany tried it. 
in the dark ages the Catholic Church tried it Luther basically said that every Jew ought to be put in a concentration camp and worked to death neutered so he can't make more and the women neutered also so they can't have any more children to, to black the race out to just do away with it to erase it well all of these things happened yet they're Jews in the world today because of the economy of God is not finished with them because of the Abrahamic and the Davidic covenant 21 verse 33 Ho Horanos Kai He Gay Pare Lu Son Ta Hoe De Lagoi Mu Ume Para Lu Lu Sante Para Le Sante The heaven and the earth they may or they shall pass away for themselves. But the words of me know not that they shall pass away. Now this does not mean that Jesus or the Bible would, would fail. The jest, the dynamics of God's word, the dynamics of God's word, his, his Jesus sayings, his truths, his edicts would not pass away. Heaven and earth may pass away, but Jesus' words, the edicts, the prophecies that he spoke shall not. If you took every Bible in the world today and burned it up, which the Catholic Church tried and the Muslim world tried, to completely destroy what destroy the Word of God, if you tried and you did it, where there wasn't one word left in this world, Jesus' prophecies will still come to pass. The generation of those Jews, the, the, not the generation, but the race of the Jews would not fail. You could try to kill every Jew in the world. If you could kill every Jew in the world, then you could stop the economy of God. Satan has tried that too many people. 21 verse 34. Prosike de Yatois, me pote, bare thusen, himon hoi cardia, in cra pale, kai methe, kai marimo menes, biotikes, kai episte, eth himos, ath nidios, Hey, Hamera, Ekine. You take heed to yourself. Pay attention. It means to grab a hold of. Pros ekete. To grab a hold of. It comes from pros and echo and to yourselves. That word and, that's a little weak adversity conjunctive particle. Day. Page 85 in the analytical Greek lexicon. Take heed. Get a hold of yourselves. Lest. unless they may become weighed down with headaches. They may become burdensome of you, the hearts, in partying, cry pale, reveling, partying, and drug abuse and drunkenness and heavy drinking and hallucinatory drugs and and anxieties of life, the OT case, the little anxieties, the little worries of life. And it may come upon you suddenly, the day that one. Host pagis, a pace cell lucete, gar, epi, pantas, tus, cathe, manus, epi, Protopon, passes, taste, gaze. As a trap, a trap door, a snare, a booby trap, it shall come upon you. 
for all the ones setting upon the face of all the earth. All the ones setting upon the face of the earth. Setting for themselves upon the face of the earth. 2136. Agripnete. Dei in Ponte. Cairo Diominoi. Hina Catis que seste. Ec figain. Ponta Tanta Tauta Ponta. Belonte Geneste Cai Sta Thene. Emprosten. To you to Antipu. You all be watchful. All through the season. Begging. In order that you may be able to escape. The things, all of these things about to happen upon the earth. And to stand in the presence of the Son of God. Revelation 7 and 9 and 8 and 2 and 11 and 14. Watch for storms. Watch for storms of humanity, the evil of humanity displayed against each other. 2137. Ain de tas hemeras ento hero. Dedascon tas de niktas exerkamanois. Ulysete, eis to oros to kalumenon elion. And he kept on being the days, during the days in the temple teaching. And the nights he'd go out, and he kept on lodging in a mountain called of Olives, the Mount of Olives. I've been up on that mountain. They say that some of those olive trees are on there and they're very old, old trees. They say maybe David had planted some of those. And Jesus sat under those trees. Now they were all cut down, but it's hard to kill an olive tree. Real hard to kill an olive tree. I've got an olive tree out there in the front yard that's probably a hundred years old on the farm. And it had just about died. I gave it a little uh, pep talk and Trim some of the dead branches off of it and put a little medication and bug killer on it and it's all perked up now, just happy and green leaves again, that olive colored leaves. These trees here live through many, many sieges. If you could only know what those trees have seen in all of those thousands of years. 2138. Kai pas holaos. Or trice, pros alton en to rano, ero that is, akuin altu. And all the people early in the morning kept on coming toward him in the temple to hear him speak. Now let's go back and let's read all of this. The finish chapter 21, starting verse 29 in the Amplified Bible. And he told them a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. When they put forth their birds, it says when they throw out their buds, their leaves, and they come out in leaf, you see for yourself and perceive and know that the summer is already near. Even so, when you see these things taking place, understand and know the kingdom of God is right near you. The kingdom of God actually was among them right then. The administration of that kingdom had been taken away from Israel. Jesus had it in his own hands. He was the king of the kingdom. It was his kingdom and he was the king. They did not want to accept him at all. Truly, I tell you that this generation, that is, this race of people, it says those leaving at that definite period of time. Actually, it's talking about the race of people, the Jewish race, will not perish and pass away until this is all taken to place. The sky and the earth, that is the universe of the world, will pass away, but my words will not pass away. My edicts, my prophecies will not pass away. But take heed to yourself. 
Be on your guard, lest your heart be, be overburdened and depressed and weighed down with the, with the giddiness and the headache and the nausea and self-induced indulgence and drunkenness and worldly worries and cares pertaining to the business of this life. That day come upon you suddenly like a trap or a noose. A booby trap. The cares of this world are like booby traps. Booby traps. For it will come upon you all who live upon the face of the entire earth. Keep awake, then, and watch all the time that is this, the, to be discreet, attentive, and ready, praying that you may have the full strength and ability to be accounted worthy of escape of all these things taken together. And that take place and to stand in the presence of the Son of God, or the Son of Man that we'd be counted worthy to, to stand in the presence of the Son of God. There's only one way that's going to happen, people. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, that He came and lived, He came and left, He was born in Bethlehem. He went down to Egypt. He was raised in Nazareth. He came and began his ministry when he was about 30 years old. He did all the miracles that he did proving that he was the king of Israel. That he was crucified on the cross by evil men. That he was buried in a grave, as the Bible said, with a rich man. And that he was raised after three days forevermore. You believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that the Lord Jesus Christ is Lord over all. You shall be saved. Now in the daytime Jesus was teaching in the porches and the courts of the temple. But at night he would go out and stay on the mount called Olives. And early in the morning all the people came to him in the temple porches and courts to listen to him. These are the ones that wanted to hear God's word. Are you listening to it today by way of the internet? Are you in India, Africa, Russia, Saudi Arabia, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, the Philippines, China? Are you in one of these places? Is this the first time you've ever heard the gospel of Jesus Christ? You can believe this day if it's the first time. If you're someplace in these United States, or South America, or Argentina, Colombia, Alaska, or Antarctica, you can hear this word, these words on the internet. Wherever you are, you can ask the Lord right where you are to save your soul and forgive you of your sins. And that after you've done this, I ask Him to guide your life. Do what, you, what the Lord wants you to do today and just pray tomorrow that it will get you in the next place where He wants you to serve Him. The Word of God is true. God's promises are true. Our Father, we send this message out for Your honor, for Your glory, for Your sake. I pray that if there is one out there that does not know You, that they will believe today. Father, I pray for all those out there, wherever they are, that are students, that are disciples. I pray for those boys in Alabama and Birmingham. I pray that you meet their ever needs. Those in Australia, all the way up there in Europe and the United Kingdom, Donald and his family, I pray for each and every one of them. I pray that they'll be saved. Same thing with Martin and her family. I pray that they will come to know you. I pray for all those and our students in Texas, wherever they may be, New York, 
New Jersey, Canada, all of you that have helped us, all of you that have been touched with God's Word. I pray, Father, for all of those. I pray that you keep them in your hand and hold them, protect them from all evil. And thank you for those that love us and that you've given them to, for us to love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.